It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the world steel capital in the city of Bridges, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and Akershire Stadium. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, happy to be with you. And CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical, who wins up front, who runs the ball the best and controls the clock, they will come out the victor. Boswell has it ready to go, and we are underway from Pittsburgh. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone and tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league, it's Patrick Mahomes. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. Mahomes not wasting time, he'll throw. That one caught by Rice. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, here's Mahomes. Screen play, McKinnon. Room past the 35. And finally, down at the 41-yard line. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guy's pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. On first down, Mahomes. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it and really gets them amped up as they go forward. Mahomes to throw on second down. Finding Gray on the out route. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4 of 4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Mahomes to throw once more. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. 
My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scantling. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him, because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one drive, he burned him. And I don't think it's the last time they call his number in this one. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. On the return from his end zone, Godwin Igwebuke. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. As we take a peek at the Oklahoma State product, their quarterback, Mason Rudolph. And when Mason Rudolph is on the field, sometimes the scouting reports have to be revised a little bit because often quarterbacks like to throw short to get a rhythm. For Mason Rudolph, he loves the deep fade and he loves the deep post pattern. Anything over the top, those are his favorite shots downfield, and that's what gets him comfortable. Rudolph going to lead the Steelers up now first and 10 at their own 22. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. They'll yeah, get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Defense gives up a touchdown to the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Rudolph on first down. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 26 big yards on that one. It's another first down. Not only they completed a couple on this drive, but they killed off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 35-yard line. Now run straight ahead with Warren, and he'll get it inside the 35. There on the stop was Leo Chanel. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football. From the 34-yard line, here's a second and eight. Back to throw, Rudolph. Got his man, it's Warren. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Here's Rudolph. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. 
unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. Boswell's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives, and they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 24 now, here's second down and five. Mahomes now to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they work this well on field across the 45. A gain of 22. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Ten more there and another first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And again, it's Mahomes. And no hesitations. They go right back to Kelsey. And Kansas City touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 43 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Butker now to add the extra point. This one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Iguabuque to return it from his end zone here. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. 
Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. Johnson's got it complete. And a result here, a pick up of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now the Steelers hustling up to the line of scrimmage. Now it's Rudolph. Again, it's Johnson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. On first down, it's Rudolph. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Chris Jones breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Rudolph now to throw. And the catch made by Johnson. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now Rudolph. That is caught. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. On first down, Rudolph. That's complete to his tight end fire move. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, this from 53. And that is no good. And they will remain two scores down as the difference holds at 11. Yeah, it's been a disappointing first half for them, all things considered. And this can serve as the capper. It's a missed field goal in the late going, and that's only going to serve to lessen the mood even further. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. Shifts by him and taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team 
going forward. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. For the second half, 14 to three, our scores. We are back underway on EA Sports, and he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Steeler offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter, and right out of the gate they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back. They've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now here's another carry for Harris. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. A handoff for Warren. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, spot it right in midfield at the 50. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. From the 50, it's Rudolph. That swung out wide to Harris. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And they'll be left with second and a couple. Caught that look from me there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 14. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Second and short, that's a run down. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. From the red zone now, Rudolph. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver. And that ball is caught by Washington. Touchdown, Steelers. 
hands on the touchdown pass. And the Steelers are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to drop those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough. They couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. They'll try and throw for it. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Here's Richie James on the return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. First down, Chiefs. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Over the middle complete. It's Rice. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the Steelers' 47 yard line. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Mahomes going to throw. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. So nothing doing there. And now it's third and three. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats. Throwing the ball. Get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no yards. Okay. Third and short to give it a tight end. Well, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. So now the Steelers down 14-9, 2.07 remaining. They'll have one play, maybe two, before the two-minute warning as they've got a first down. First and ten, Rudolph. And he's taken down. A cheap sack. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. Here's second down. 
They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, they need a touchdown, and here they're saying, we're not going to get it 10 yards at a time. They felt they needed to take a shot there to at least get them across the 50. But that one falls incomplete. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. On the give, it's Warren. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Here we go. This is fourth down. Now Rudolph. He's got him in, complete. And they work this run up field across the 45. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Oh, man. They are living on the razor's edge. If this is incomplete, this game's over. Instead, it's a huge pickup. And I think the win percentage calculator is going to have to work overtime here because this game has really had some swings. He finds his man complete. It's Warren. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Here's second down and three. Throwing here, Rudolph. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's going to take full charge of his heart. They've got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Rudolph. And that will be incomplete. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. They're going for it. This is Harris. And now off to the races down the right side. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save the timeout. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's a big call. Big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and ten. Now Rudolph. And it's caught. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they take it the lead late in the final battle of the third. Wow. Wow. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead, and also, Charles, didn't leave their opposition with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win, but they can't celebrate just yet. They've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use up those timeouts without making any headway. So now an extra point doesn't help much. They'll try to go for two to make the difference a field goal, and they can lead it by three. Now it's Rudolph. And this is caught. And it's a three-point game. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. 
Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And now all eyes shift over to the Chiefs, trailing by three after the touchdown and two point conversion. A little over 20 seconds to go. They've surrendered a double-digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Mahomes will throw. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he'll have a quick first down here as he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. Mahomes. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. Probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get the midfield or so, so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. They'll try again here, second and ten. Mahomes. Fighting Hardman. Now they burn the timeout. And they're kind of in that gray area where they might be able to get two plays in, but maybe just one play left in this ball game. We'll see. Here's first down. Mahomes. Complete Valdez Scantling. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. One final try for Mahomes. This for all the marbles. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. What a game we were treated to in this one. And then on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon.